Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hut, and of course, this is the Baseball Hut, and please subscribe to this channel, and like the video, and let me know what you think about the video. Uh, in a week or two, the live streams are going to be coming back, so I need to sort of prepare yourselves for a big surprise, <laughs> but a big surprise, but uh, let's talk about the Mets. Now, first we get into that, please send me a super thanks for the great work I do, and of course, share the video on your social media. Okay, so the Mets are 35 and 17. It's one of the best starts in the history of this team, other than 86. They are on pace to win 110 games. What is different from this year as opposed to what has gone on over the last few years? Um, they brought in Max Scherzer, but he got hurt. He's going to be out for a couple months. They don't have Jacob DeGrom. They brought in. Some rather interesting everyday players and in, in Mark Hanna, Stalin Marte. What a what a great player he is. Um, obviously, they have Eduardo Escobar, a great professional. I think he's going to start heating up with the weather getting warmer now. Uh, but the biggest acquisition of the last off season, and really is the biggest difference in this ball club, is the manager Buck Showalter. Buck has done an amazing job. I was a big proponent of his to come in here in the off season. I was doing videos on him for months. He was the guy I wanted to be manager of this Mets team. He is into every part of the game. There is no part of the game that he is um, not paying attention to. Everything that he does is of high quality. Um... He knows the rules. He knows what the players need. He puts his players in a position to succeed. He's not caught off guard by anything that's going on in the field. And in fact, there's so much talk about over the last first few months that he's been manager of all these different stories about how he noticed things. He was the first to notice the cheating scandal with the Astros a few years ago. So he is always on the ball with everything. And... And we know his record. We know he was one of the main people that built the, the Yankee dynasties of the late 90s. We also know he's the one that built that championship team in 2001 with the Diamondbacks. He had sort of an uneven kind of situation there in, in Texas because he had A-Rod there. He did move A-Rod out of there as manager. And he had a very good run with the Baltimore Orioles up until they started... Um, moving all of his players off the team and basically stop spending down there. So everywhere he has gone, he's been successful. He's won a lot of games. He's had very successful teams. Now he's in a situation with his unlimited resources, uh, both in terms of, not only in terms of money, but also support from ownership. And they have an owner that's hungry for, for championships. But really, he is the number one reason why they have this big lead, this 10 and a half, 11 and a half game lead on the Braves and the Phillies. The Braves will make their run at some point um, over the next month or so. I'm sure they'll, they'll get into postseason. The Phillies are done. Um, but we'll worry about that in another video. Man, I'll do something on the baseball hood too. But for now, they're going on a big road trip to California. The Dodgers played the Pirates this week. They lost four games in a row against the Pirates. The broadcaster said that, that they got swept by the Pirates and things are not going to get easier because the Mets are on the way. And the Mets are on their way. And when they, once they're done with the Pirates, they go and they play the Padres, who've been struggling a little bit. And then they go and play the Anaheim Angels. And the Angels, by the way, I don't believe in the Angels. Uh, I think they're going to sort of, you know, fade away. And you're starting to see that they've lost six in a row. They're playing the Yankees in the doubleheader today. But I don't expect them to be, just in terms of the whole season, I don't expect them to really be much of a, I don't think they'll be in postseason. You know, I just don't think they have enough talent there. They have some great players on that team. They got Shoei Otani on that team. They have Mike Trout. But I don't think that really, uh, for the long term of the season, they're going to be there. Uh, so I don't think that pitching is good enough. But uh, back to the Mets before I end this video. Uh, Buck is really the big reason why they are where they are. 
and it's fun to watch it. Uh, Ron Darling was going through the crowd the other night, and he said how jubilant the fans are about this team. I can't tell you, because maybe some of you might not be in New York that are listening to this video. The town is going crazy for the Mets. They go crazy for the Mets here. Because people see the, the excitement, the quality. And we see, again, Francisco Lindor stepping up his game too. Which is a big reason why uh, Buck is the number one reason why this team is where it is. So, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about Buck Showalter. There's plenty that we're going to talk about. There's going to be trades that are going to come along. I don't think there's going to be anything earth shattering for the Mets uh, at this point. But if there is a player that's earth shattering, they will try to get him. Uh, and we'll, I'm sure there'll be somebody, some trade that will pop up in my head. But I'll probably post it on the other channel. But full steam ahead with the Mets. We're going to have we're having a great season. And thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hut. Leave comments in the comments section. Send me a super thanks. Thank you. Have a good day. And I'll see you later.